And as we watch in horror, as bombs are dropped on Palestinian homes, on their hospitals, on their media outlets, we feel their pain. And critically, we know as Irish people, we have a duty to shout stop. As Irish people, we don't have the luxury to pretend we don't know, to pretend that we don't understand. We have a duty to stand in solidarity with the people of Palestine and call the Israeli actions out for what they are, and that is apartheid. We have seen the continued Israeli settlement expansion, the forced expulsions, and the refusal to grant the right of return to Palestinian refugees. Israel says it wants peace. It says it wants a viable two-state solution. But actions speak louder than words, and by God, are their actions loud. It continues to place its heavily fortified settlements on Palestinian land. It's divided up the West Bank into Bantustans with military checkpoints, and it consistently lays siege to Gaza. And it does all of this under the pretext of self-defense. Palestine is the tragedy of our time. Hanan Ashwari, the peace activist, has said that the absence uh, from international sanctions has enabled the creation of a horror in Gaza. It is a living horror. And yet we hear prominent politicians across the world who engage in bad faith false equivalents. They use language around this conflict which is designed to obscure what's going on. They talk about Israel's right to security. Israel is a nuclear power with the fourth largest standing army in the world. What about Palestine's right to security? In Gaza, only one in ten people have direct access to clean water. We have seen the horrific bombings. Does that look like a secure existence? And we hear talk in the media of clashes and ceasefires, which create the false impression that this is a conflict between equal forces. It is anything but. It is a struggle between a colonizer and the oppressed. It is a struggle for self-determination versus a harsh and brutal system of apartheid. This July will mark 37 years since Dunwood's workers here in Ireland stood against apartheid. Let Ireland once again stand up to an apartheid regime and pass this bill.